the market is trending upwards. Altcoins are starting to show 40, 30, 25% gains on daily charts. And the one thing is, the fact of the matter is that really the run isn't even going to begin until we see new Bitcoin all-time highs. The euphoria, the Coinbase, the Coinbase App Store ranking, everything that we're seeing right now, we're not even in a euphoric stage. We're literally hovering around 70K and all-time highs. And the feeling around the market, it just doesn't feel like we're there yet. I think there's so much more upside to come throughout the end of October, heading into election season and the rest of Q4. What narratives should you be positioning yourself into as well? What are some of the coins that I think could run the hardest during this time period? We're going to talk about it in this video. So drop down below, hit the like button and subscribe for more every single day and every week here on In The Game. We also have another off the grid video coming Coming to you this weekend. I know you guys have been loving the guide that I did last week. So I think once or twice a week, we're going to start dropping these gaming videos to talk about trading, not just on the markets, what we do here on the main shows every, you know, three times a week, we give you market coverage. We're going to start breaking down how to make money within these actual games, which I think is going to provide so much value for you guys. And the reactions in the comments on that video last weekend are tremendous. And a big shout out to all of our sponsors down below. We have Ledger, we have NordVPN, we have Moon Tropica, we're on Epic War as well as FOMO, and you can check all those out down below in the description. But I want to give a big shout out to Ledger because once again, scams are rampant during the time period that the market is hot. And I highly implore you to jump down below, grab a Ledger. It can connect the Bluetooth to your phone, to your laptop. There's two-factor authentication, cold storage, so your crypto is kept offline basically in your device it's backed up by your seed phrase and your device you need to literally have the physical device to transact the security features are top notch you can secure coins you can secure nfts on this wallet so drop down below ledger stacks in the description and also look where the market is right now if you're not using a top tier portfolio tracker Link down below in the description. You can jump into Nexus Labs, which is the software we have built in-house here on In The Game, which tracks the entire market. But on top of that, you can jump in, see your portfolio. On this right here, I have 12 wallets tracked. 12 wallets tracked. You can try for seven days, absolutely free, or $9.99 a month to be able to get ahead of the market and make sure that you have an overview of every single chain and every token in your portfolio. Let's go ahead and jump into the content of today's show, and it's gonna be a quick one. The market, the thesis hasn't really changed, but there are some metas forming in each of these niches that I really wanna go over. Gaming, AI, and memes. And that's all you need for Valhalla this cycle. I'm more than confident, especially after what we're seeing with Off The Grid, that gaming is back. And really, we need that on-chain liquidity event. That's going to be the Gunzilla token. I think once the Guns token goes live, we're going to see that trickle-down effect as Guns, I believe, will launch between $1.5 and $3 billion market cap. That is my conservative to prediction, to be completely honest with you. And if we were to go look at the watch list here and take a look at the seven days, Literally, the top three, Rainbow, let's take that out of the equation. It was down so bad. But Xborg and Carve are gaming coins up 200% and 97% this week. Humans AI, we've been talking about humans AI here on the show. And the gains that this thing is showing on the weekly chart is insane. Up 85% over the weekly timeline and 169% on the monthly timeline. And as Bacon points out, they're kind of leaning into this machine learning narrative. I think this has so much more upside and humans AI heart about a month or two ago, whenever I said this could be the most slept on AI coin in the market, I genuinely think that's the case. And this probably does have much more upside in the tank. And then just looking through here, Forgotten Playland, gaming, you know, reality metaverse, champs, UFO, reboot, arcade, uh, you know, decimated, compete big time. These are all gaming coins on the top of the seven day timelines. You know, trench meme coins aside that do 100X in a day, 
we're not really talking about the trenches in these videos, but gaming is showing strength all due to off the grid. But what needs to happen is that injection of liquidity. I think when the guns nodes go live into the market, when the guns token goes live and people see, whoa, off the grid's worth $3 billion. What are the coins that we should be diving into to potentially catch some of that pump? There's a new content pack coming in November for off the grid that the founder uh, says that it'll set Twitter on fire. We have Jesus Martinez here showing some of the numbers. Over 1 million streaming hours watched and over 3,000 streamers. The amount of publicity, the content, the amount of clips, just the Twitch numbers speak for themselves. It was an absolutely successful launch here for Off The Grid. And I think the one thing you have to look at here, really the two things, and we've been saying this for a while, is Avalanche and Super. You know, there's Maple Story coming to Avalanche, Far Away GG coming to Avalanche, making their own chain. We see here Seed World from Seedify. They're going to be eventually moving over to their own AVAX L1 using AVAX 9000 for the Seed World game. They'll be on six chains at the start, but they're looking to lock down and need their own Avalanche 9000 L1. And to be honest, like I. It has run nicely from where it was, from 20 bucks up to $28, but at $11 billion market cap, this thing has so much room to catch up to other protocols that are above it. I think truly the 60 plus dollar mark is gonna happen you know, relatively quickly, but I think over the course of this bull, the AVAX passes all time highs, absolutely. That has to be in your bag, as well as Superverse. Superverse, right now, the token is integrated in games like Wag Me Games. It's integrated on the Nexus platform. It's integrated across over 30 ecosystems currently. They had recently partnered up with XAI, who I'm super bullish on. I think XAI is a sleeper in the Arbitrum narrative, and we're actually gonna get to that. Coins that I would consider sleepers in this market right now. But Super and, and uh, AVAX, these are the two coins I think you have to have in your bags leading into the Gunzilla Guns Token TGE. Those are just absolute no-brainers. As well as Prime, we see a tweet here that Van Eck has placed two long-term bets on gaming, and one of them is on Parallel TCG, which is obviously the Prime token. So the three at the top level haven't really changed. You know, AVAX, Super, and Prime. I think these are three of the strongest coins this cycle in the gaming narrative, and you really couldn't be in much of a safer position than those three. I still like Immutable. Immutable's just like underwhelming as far as tech goes. It still has a narrative behind it, so I, I still hold Immutable, just full disclosure. I'm just not as high on it as I maybe once was. I think Beam, you know, it shows strength every time gaming ticks up. It's nearing that two cent mark, nearing that million or billion dollar uh, circulating market cap currently. I also think Beam remains as one of the top tier positions, but let's talk about slept on positions in this market. Cause I know you guys are all positioned in the coins that I mainly talk about. And the core bulk of those tokens would majority be Ron, IMX, Super, Beam, Avalanche, uh, Prime, those types of tokens, those big six, right? There, there's, there's like the Power Five conferences in, in college football. Those are like the big six gaming coins. I, I think like those six gaming coins in your portfolio, throw in IMX in there. And I think that that's like a really well-rounded, high-level gaming portfolio. But I know you guys want a little more upside. And I've seen the comments about, well, you need a big bag to make money on something that is already like a billion dollar market cap. So I hear you guys. So we still have safe plays that I think have tremendous upside this cycle. And I actually think that when the Arbitrum narrative comes around, we're actually seeing some quality projects building with Arbitrum and specifically building with XAI, which is an L3 solution built on Arbitrum. And a lot of the gaming projects have shifted their focus to building with Xi. Xi is well-funded, network works tremendously, and honestly, from a compatibility standpoint, they're a top five gaming chain. They're just really underrated at this moment in time. Like Their chain works way better than IMX, and it's over 15X undervalued what IMX's circulating market cap is. So I think XAI firmly fits the bill as an undervalued gaming coin. I would also throw in Zentry, Zentry here, uh, it's up 23% this month, but this was 
GuildFi, they rebranded over to Zentry. Some of their games are doing like 70K daily in, in uh, revenue, just absolutely crazy numbers. I think we continue to see bullish activity coming through the door here for a coin like Zentry. Moving down the line, I still like Nakamoto games. We've talked about it a couple times this month, but it's up 47% this month. I would maybe wait for it to do a little sideways consolidation. They're coming out with a big new tap to earn game, launching on Ton and the Telegram narrative. They've been an early front runner on Telegram for years, but I think that tapping into the actual Ton ecosystem is going to be big for Naka. So that's another big development in their ecosystem. Going down the ladder here, I also like Mocha. I want to see that FDV come down a little bit closer to the circulating market cap before I take action, but I think Mocha does have a lot of potential. I think Carrot's going to bounce after this new uh, token unlock. Their first token unlock happens tomorrow, I believe it is. So that unlock is going to go through. I would imagine we see a nice little bit of a surge in price after the sell pressure comes through. So that's one to keep an eye on like it's up a hundred plus percent this month but i think carrot is going to be one of the biggest performers in the gaming market this cycle going down the ladder i like wilder world i like crown i wouldn't be buying xborg right now it's literally up 300 percent this month but i think xborg is another one to keep your eye on throughout this cycle and then you guys know i, I really like stuff like polis from star atlas like moon tropica wag me games so i'm giving you guys a plethora of coins that I still think have tremendous upside and that might be a little lower market cap. I have to give you a disclaimer that these lower market cap coins are always gonna be a little riskier. In tough times, the low caps get absolutely destroyed, but in the good times, the low caps give you the most upside. So based on previous videos, comments, I wanted to throw in a lot of different ranges. I gave you guys you know, the 800 million range. I gave you some $100 million coins. I gave you some 80, you know, $70 million coins. And then I just threw at you a few like $30 million coins, which I think all are pretty safe to be completely honest with you, but however, have tremendous upside throughout this cycle. If you're farming airdrops in the gaming space, I'd be looking at King of Destiny from Infinigods. They're opening up the Battle for God on October 22nd. So if you were farming super champs and actually playing the game, this is the time period to jump in, play the game, complete the quest, play and score points, climb that leaderboard and win God rewards, as well as Gomble Games. Now, Gomble Games, this is huge in the Asian market. I think that they're going to absolutely crush it. I think that their token is going to be a really big surprise to the people that don't know about this. I will leave a referral link down below in the description. It's super easy. It's just a telegram game. You stake birdies to earn win G, win from 10 million of G pool. So G is the Gomble Games token. This is the egg drop experience. I will drop the referral link in the description down below. But more so, I think gaming is ripe for a pump. And to be honest, that pump is not going to really happen until Gunzilla token goes live. Because over the last three times that the gaming market was hot, we had liquidity fueling it. Prime, Big Time, Mavia, Pixels, all with live tokens that injected money into the market. And that makes people think, huh, if off, off the grid is worth three billion, why wouldn't AVAX run? Why wouldn't Super catch up a little bit? Why wouldn't Beam catch up a little bit? I think Ronin's undervalued. It makes people start doing that comparison effect to similar projects and say, hey, I think these other gaming projects are undervalued, which then brings the liquidity from that main coin over to other projects. So I think people will FOMO into guns. Guns is probably gonna drive up after launch because of how popular it is. But then from there, I think we see tremendous action on the gaming altcoin. So that's what I'm doing to position there. Let's jump into a couple other narratives here. Obviously, earlier in the show, I talked about humans AI. This thing is absolutely ripping. And to be completely honest with you, I don't think it's going to slow down. The updates that this team has coming through the door is absolutely tremendous. And like what Miles said, like I think a lot of the main coins that we see in AI right now aren't really going to be the biggest winners. Like other than Tau, which I completely agree with. You know, we have Tau, Near. 
Um, stuff like render, for example, which I think you're going to absolutely crush throughout this cycle. But when we go down the ladder here, I think that's where you're going to find the most gains. Stuff like humans AI, but you know this thing has pumped quite a bit, so I would tread with a little bit of caution, just to be honest. But I think GPU, uh, I think it has so much left in the tank. It's only up six percent this month but 25 percent on the week so it is showing strength on that weekly chart but he's also mentioning coins coming out this year that you might not even know about yet and i know there's a couple in my opinion that you should have on your radar i believe blue whale i think that one looks pretty good they've, they've had a pretty successful node sale recently i think kip protocol is one to have on your radar as well backed by animoca but to be honest you need to have a well-balanced portfolio between gaming, AI, and memes. And that leads me to the last sector here, which is memes. And I know memes piss everyone off. Like I said it last show, if you're not going to have meme exposure, you need to do one of two things. You need to mute the term meme coins on your Twitter because you're going to get FOMO. Or number two, you just need to dive into a couple. And don't go into the trenches and open up your bull axe and start sniping every coin. That's just not the way you're going to win in this market. The way you're going to win in this market is by holding high conviction level memes. And we showed the list that Matt Stefanina put out last week. And I told you guys, Brett and Mog are my absolute top picks. So when I'm looking at Brett, and I agree with Crash here, you know, say what you will. Crash is a meme coin genius. The cheat code to get rich this cycle is to understand that base is a leverage play on ETH. I think base is so slept on still. Even across gaming, I think there's so much room to grow there. If ETH does well, BASE does better, and Brett is a leverage bet on BASE. If ETH does a 3x, BASE growth goes up 10x, and Brett does, he says 30x, well, maybe. But I, I do think that BASE and Brett specifically are a great leverage play on the market and on Ethereum. And I have to give you guys a little alpha. So back in... You know, I forget when this launched specifically. I think it was around April, but you guys know I'm tremendously bullish on Foxy. We have talked about Foxy quite a bit. It is the lead meme coin on Linea. And going back to that Brett illusion, not the illusion, but the play is base, right? But you want to also maybe plant yourself across multiple chains. So at one point we had Redo on Ton. We had Pepe on ETH. You have Solana, you know, you have Whiff and Bonk, for example. On Linea, you have Foxy. On AVAX, you have Cock Inu, as crazy as it is. That is the meme coin on, uh, on uh, Avalanche, okay? But Foxy is on Linea. And what we actually see here is the, like, the gist of the liquidity is coming in here. $100 million fully diluted. It's the biggest chain, uh, our biggest meme coin by far on Linea. So to me, chain-backed memes, like getting involved with the biggest meme coin on each chain is going to be a absolute recipe for success this cycle. Number one, Metis is crushing this month. They partnered up with DeFi Kingdoms. They're leaning a lot more into the gaming narrative, talking about how they're revolutionizing the trust into gaming. And if we actually go look, let me filter on my main watch list here. Metis is performing very well. If I can find Metis here, I believe... Okay, let me just search it up here just to show, because when a chain's gaining momentum like this, typically we start to see some memes pop up on these chains. So 13% on the day, on the weekly, Metis is up 35%. And not only is Metis gaining traction in the gaming niche, we're actually seeing a meme coin start to pop up with high level support. Like the biggest influencers are now starting to push a potential Metis meme coin, which is called Medusa. The art looks literally Foxy-esque. Like it, it literally looks almost the, like just the graphic style of Foxy is here. And if this gets the same traction as Foxy, I think it's a great opportunity. So I'll keep you guys updated on this one as this comes close to launch, if there's any way to get involved. But that's what I'm looking for. My main holds in meme coins right now are Brett and Mog. That's not changing. I do have Foxy. I do have Ponky on Solana. I have Lil Bub on Solana, for example, but I'm looking forward to some new launches similar to Foxy on up and coming chains. Metis is gaining a narrative, gaining liquidity, trending up in market cap. And I think a meme coin launch could absolutely crush on the Metis chain. And just to summarize, guys, I'm more than bullish. I'm more so sitting in my same bags. And that's what you have to understand. Like now is not the time. I'm not chasing positions left and right. 
and it might you might want new tokens I, I i ran through about 10 gaming coins today all different market caps that i think still have a lot of potential this cycle but right now you should have been packing your bags it's just funny the the narrative people are so scared when the market takes little dips and they're like it's over sell everything and they actually do sell everything and then they try to time the bottom and that never works and i'll say my most famous thing on this show is time in the market beats timing the market. Stop trying to be a genius and just be the person who's buying the lows and riding up during these time periods. I think this Q4 pump was so easy to predict. You just have to have conviction, believe in something, as they say on Twitter. So I'm very bullish. We'll keep you updated throughout the month of October and throughout the rest of Q4. And obviously, as I buy new coins, I will bring them to you. But right now, I'm sitting in my positions and really satisfied at the growth of my portfolio. My entire portfolio today is up 7%. We do like to see those numbers. If you want to use this portfolio tracker, the link down below in the description, Nexus Labs. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Video coming out this weekend on Off the Grid. We're going to talk about the assets that I think you need to be buying just for long-term value. I'll talk about that this weekend. So I'll see you guys there. And as always, like, subscribe, play well, and I'll say it again like the last video because it worked some magic on the market. Stay bullish, my friends.